welcome back to yet another video guys thank you so much for watching i'm out here on the golf course it's seven o'clock in the morning it's one of my new rituals this year i want to go out almost every day i hope to go at, out at least every second day in the morning to get some practice in either play a couple of holes or practice on a certain part of my game because this year i really want to make sure that i'm consistently play around 75 uh, and I know in order to achieve this goal, I just have to go out there, try out different things, just practice, get my stamina right. And this is what I'm going to do this year. So guys, make sure to subscribe if you want to be part of this journey. Throughout the process, I'm going to be testing lots of different products to see which ones are going to help me. Um, I'm obviously, you know, I'm going to invest in a couple of uh, new clubs. I'm going to invest in some tools in order to help them practice. Um, just to, to make my life a little bit easier because I'm also working full time so I can't be out here all day um, so I need to really find a way to achieve this goal as efficiently as possible so guys with that being said today um, I got myself some new wedges and I thought this is a question that I was asking myself before I bought these wedges um, that might also be interesting for a lot of you guys um, it's the question should you rather get a used Vokey or a new Kirkland wedge. Um, Kirkland has been making quite quite some scenes out there with, with their new putter and their, their new wedges and potentially other new clubs in the, in the near future. And yeah, I mean, you've probably seen other videos kind of talking about one or the other. And I thought, hey, and because they're both at the same price point, I paid $60 still uh, back in the US for each club and now I want to take them to the test and see which one I could recommend for you guys to get. Should you rather get a new one or should you get a used uh, Vokey? I got the SM7 and I got the Kirkland Signature still wrapped in plastic. I'm going to take this off now. We're going to hit some shots. I'm going to tell you how they feel, how they perform. Let's start with the looks. Um, I think we maybe just start at the grip itself. I do like the Lemkin grip a little bit better, um, but the Kirkland grip also feels very nice. It doesn't, it doesn't feel very cheap, so, so there's nothing to complain about. The shaft looks literally identical. Just from the looks, putting it next to ball, there's not that much of a difference. Also, the front face uh, of both clubs are very similar. Um, I mean, it basically looks like Kirkland copied uh, the, the Vokey wedge here, just from its design point. Um, both logos are positioned at the same place. Form of the club is very similar. So just from the looks, they, they just appear to be very, very similar wedges. Um, and one thing that I already noticed, let's look on the other side. I'm not sure if you can see it through the camera, but what I think is kind of special about the Vokey wedges has these little fine lines in between here. And the same goes for the Kirkland. So the Kirkland should give me the same amount of spin that I'm used to getting from a Vokey wedge. I think now that we established the, the looks of both clubs, I think we should just get going, hit a couple of shots. Um, I'm gonna be hitting some shots from close by, out of the bunker, out of the rough, and just to kind of see how do they feel, how do they perform, is there much of a difference, or are they very similar clubs at the end of the day? All right, I've been hitting a good amount of shots all around the green. 
um, from the bunker, from further away, like full swing shots. And I have to say, I kind of like them both. Um, in every aspect, for some reason, the Vokey wedge performed a tiny little bit better for me. Um, but I also think I know why this is. Um, one thing that I noticed right away is the fact that the Kirkland is a little bit more lightweight. And at first I thought, hey, uh, I think I like that better. But after hitting a couple of shots, I kind of ended up having more control with the slightly heavier club, the, the Titleist Vokey, which is definitely an interesting outcome for me. So just because of those tiny little details um, in terms of feeling, I can already recommend for you guys to test out different clubs, see what works for you, like what, what do you feel more comfortable playing with. Yeah, so this is what I noticed for myself, that the Vokey Wedge performed and felt a little bit better. Um, but overall, I'm also really happy with the Kirkland wedge. It's like it's definitely more pleasant to look at a new wedge than it is to look at a used wedge. Um, but you know, I'm not sure how long this Kirkland wedge is actually gonna look new. So therefore, um, yeah, it's it's definitely a tough tough call. Um, maybe it depends a little bit on if you if you're a little bit of like a brand snob you know if you prefer to just have the nice Titleist Vokey in your bag or if you don't care about having the Kirkland brand which uh, I think here in Germany not a lot of people know about so I can't actually imagine it being kind of cool to have a club that you can't really get your hands on uh, here so yeah I, I think I prioritize the Titleist for now um, but I'm gonna keep them both in my bag I'm gonna try them both out um, more on the course and then we're just gonna go from there Guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If it was in any way helpful, give it a thumbs up. Also, leave your comments below. Have you tried either one of the clubs or have you even tried both clubs? Which one did you like better? Um, I appreciate like talking to you guys on the comments. Also, if you're not subscribed, please subscribe to the channel and I will see you in the next one.